Everybody wants to hear the voice of God, especially in my generation, the generation I found myself. Everybody wants to hear the God. And it's a good thing. It's not a bad desire to hear the voice of God. It's a good thing to hear the voice of God because the voice of God directs. The voice of God instructs. What is more beautiful like hearing the voice of the creator of the world, the creator of your own life, the one who knows the A to Z of your life. It is very important. It is very beautiful to hear the voice of God. And when you hear the voice of God, it's very difficult to crash in life because our God does not lie and he does not disappoint. But the thing is that many people don't hear the voice of God. And that is not God's fault. It is human beings' our fault. I want to tell you how some people miss the voice of God in this, in uh, what do you call it, in our generation. Some people miss the voice of God, number one, out of ignorance. Should I call it ignorance or should I say they are not spiritual? Because see, some people think that the voice of God is going to come by all the time that says the Lord. That says the Lord because that is what they are used to. Some people think that the voice of God will always come by I am the Lord and then I want to do A, B or C or D. No. Let me tell you this. Sometimes the voice of God comes through friends. Sometimes the voice of God comes through just a normal conversation you are having with somebody. And God will speak through the person. But when you are ignorant or you are not spiritual, let me merge it together. One of the ways people don't hear the voice of God is ignorant and not spiritual. I'm merging them together. Because it can be partly ignorant, it can also be partly not spiritual. Because let me tell you, any man or woman who is spiritual, the moment he's having a conversation with somebody or he's browsing his phone, he hears a man of God speaking and then making a statement. It can just be a casual statement. But that person, that the spiritual man will be able to pick up and know that this is the voice of God for me, meant for me at this crucial time of my life or at this particular time of my life. People don't hear the voice of God is because they are ignorant and not spiritual. Let me tell you, even in the market, people can just be having casual conversation and you hear something. Maybe you are just moving. You hear something and that's, the, that's God directing you or speaking to you through that person. The voice of God can come from your mother. It can come like an advice. It can come from a friend. You and a friend is having a discussion. and Just a normal discussion. He will say one or two or mention a part, say a quote or something. Then it is an instruction God is giving to you. Because God has spoken to you, you are not hearing. He may try to use a friend or a relative, your mother or your father, in the form of an advice or something for you to be able to get what he, he has been trying to communicate to you in that dream or he has been trying to communicate to you when he's even speaking to you, even speaking to your heart, but you are not getting it. God can use those moments that is why when you meet prophets of god they are very spiritual prophets of god are very spiritual they don't just take everything for granted you can god has spoken to a lot of people even facebook that we are using there as the devil is using facebook god also is using it as the world is using it god is also using it you can just be browsing through facebook you see a statement you see a quote and it may be a word for you and that may be the voice of god for you but a lot of people have abandoned the voice of God because what? They have kept God in a box and they were waiting for God to speak in a, a particular way. You see, the moment you are waiting for God to speak in a particular way to you, you will never hear the voice of God. And I'm telling you, the moment also you don't take the words of people for anything, it will be difficult to hear the voice of God. You don't need the, the voice of God will not always come from a prophet of God. It will it can come from your mother, it can come from your father. The only thing you need to have is to be spiritual. Because if you are not spiritual, even if the voice of God comes, you will think that it was a normal conversation I was having with my brother, or a normal conversation I was having with my auntie or my mother or my sister. You will never take it serious. People have lost opportunity because God spoke to them through friends, through family, and they lost opportunities because they never knew that that was God speaking to them or directing them. So it can be ignorance or not, not being spiritual and you miss the voice of God. That's how people miss the voice of God. One day, one, a certain woman was praying on a field. Then I had an answer for the woman. I just felt it in my spirit. So I went it. I, I, I just know in my spirit. I received the word. So what the woman was praying about, 
I went, I went closer to her on the field to, to tell her that this particular thing you are praying about, the Lord has given you answer. Chai, come and see. I got, she was the only one on the park praying. I stood, got closer to her, trying to get her attention. I, I said, hello, hi, hello, nothing. I got closer. I said, good evening, nothing. Then I, I greeted Zanyore. Maybe if she was not understanding, it is in Boga, so if she was not understanding English, then let's go there properly. Zanyore, she was there. I stood there for some time. We were just close. She was busy praying. When I turn, if I come in front of her trying to get attention, <coughs> she would turn her face somewhere different. I tried. I said, I want to talk to you. She would turn her face. She was busy praying. This was somebody busy praying, and God has given an answer to the prayer. And she was still busy praying. This is how some believers will behave. When God used that friend to give you the answer, you still be busy praying about the thing. Meanwhile, the conversation you were having with the friend, that was the answer to that solution, to that problem. Or that was the answer, the direction you are looking for, that was the answer to it. Let's be spiritual. Because you may ignore the answer God has given you, or you may still be looking the, looking for the voice of God. Meanwhile, the voice of God, God has made it available to you. And number two ways people miss the voice of God. Number two is familiarity. Let's take the story of Jesus as an example. Some of them never knew that Jesus Christ was the Messiah that they have been praying and be waiting anxiously for. They never knew. The answer was brought to them, but they were familiar. We know Jesus. We know his family. Is that not a capital son? We know his father. His father has been in this area doing carpentry work. Is his, his father not Joseph? Is his father not Mary? Uh, is his mother not Mary? Are they not from this area? We know him. We grew up with Joseph. We know the guy. So how can you say that guy be the, he be the savior? You understand? Familiarity have made a lot of people miss the voice of God. There are some people, their friends answered the call and became pastors. And then maybe one day they, they have that friend called them and tell them, you know something, I think, um, or they go to their friend with what they call looking, seeking for counsel and advice. And maybe the person speak as an ins- from the inspirations of the Holy Spirit to them. Familiarity, oh, they will think that no. Uh, so a lot of people have, what do you call it, miss the voice of God because of familiarity. Many people were familiar with Jesus Christ. They never thought that he was the Messiah. Some people got to realize that indeed he was the Savior when already, the, what do you call it, he had been lifted up and he had ascended to heaven. That is why some people they say, yes, indeed he was truly the Son of God, but it was already over. So the Son of God walked with men moved with men, talked with men, ate with men, but some didn't know he was the son of God because the spirit of familiarity blinded their eyes. There are people that familiarity have blinded their eyes. Even they are in church, they are having a pastor, but familiarity, they think, I know pastor already, I know pastor, I know pastor, oh, I know prophet, I know prophet. It will surprise you one day, I was attending service at Prophet Dana Cesar Cordier's church, and then he began to prophesy. Then certain ladies were sitting there. Then they were they were passing comments. It's like they already know his style of prophecy. Some people were like like it's like they already know his style of prophecy. I was so surprised. This was a man that is highly respected and honored in the body of Christ. And then these are the comments that certain people are passing. Familiarity. So those people will be there in the next ten years to come, twenty years to come. And they will not be getting certain answers from God. And they will not be getting directions or the wind or the move God wants them to move in. Because what? They have become familiar with the man that have been sent to deliver a message to them. So familiarity is one of the ways why people miss their voice. If you have a man of God around you, don't be familiar. If you have a boy of God, because some people see young men now to be boy of God and not men of God. Okay, so let me borrow that word. If you have even a boy of God. There's no boy of God, but let me borrow that way. If you have a boy of God around you, don't be familiar with the words that come out of your mouth. And the moment you hold those words in high esteem, I bet you, you will never miss the directions of God and the path God wants you to take in this life. I pray that any voice you have become familiar to, and you, as a result of that, you are missing the voice of God. I pray that may the Lord restore you back. May the Lord bring your mind back to those voices and as you begin to obey those voices i see you moving to your next 
testimony in life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peace, shalom, bye-bye.